Chuck Fresh PCGYN with Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. For some reason, we have a bunch of people bringing in these impression tablets. It's a really nice tablet with a lot of really cool features, but people are having problems with them all of a sudden. We're going to walk you through how to reset these things. There's a couple different ways to do it. First, if the unit's just completely unresponsive, you'll see a little doodad on the side here. I don't know if you can see that here that says reset. Anyway, one of these holes right here next to the photo shutter button and it has a little reset so you take a like a little paper clip or something and just take that in there and pop the reset kind of like that I know you can't see that and what that does is resets the unit and then you have to turn the power button back on hold the power button up top and turn that baby back on and the unit will once again boot up and uh, hopefully bring back whatever applications you can run. Now that's the soft reset. And uh, that doesn't resolve the problem with this uh, operating system issue. And uh, so we need to do the hard reset, which kind of wipes everything out and brings it back to factory. And that's what we're gonna do now. So unfortunately, that little reset button doesn't do jack in trying to reset that unit. Here it is, a little bit better picture of it. I can't focus with this thing. So uh, what you need to do is there's a camera button next to that reset button. It's a little camera snapshot picture there. And uh, you need to hold that, and you need to hold the power button at the same time. It's kind of like resetting a Mac. You have to hold more keys than you have fingers to do. So you hold those buttons at the same time when you start it up, and then you'll see the factory reset screen. So that's the camera button here, and the power button on top. Hold those at the same time. You'll get this blue screen. It says reset to factories. And you got to hold it until it actually takes. And there we go. And remember when you do this, it erases everything on the tablet. All your pictures, all your music, all your apps. Everything's gone. So make sure you've backed it up to the SD card. It's nice about this thing is you can save things to the SD card. It's also got an HDMI out. Um, it's actually a pretty impressive little unit feature-wise. Then we go next, like the first time you set it up and you do all this stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and through that and uh, make sure everything works. And there she blows. Back to factory setting and it works all like it did when it was brand new. Once one, you can download an update that goes wrong or an app that's not compatible or some other kind of craziness. And it just uh, causes this software fail. Uh, fortunately, the rest of this appears to be working normally. So just connect to your Wi-Fi and start downloading your apps and put yourself back where you belonged in the beginning. Chuck Fresh PCGYN is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.